Hello, this is O. Morgan from omorganlabs.com, and today we're going to plot vector fields in the TI-89. Vector fields and slope fields are different. Vector fields, they are a field of lines that you can use to uh, plot, um, use to plot a, a field, right? Usually you're, you're modeling fluid flows and things like that and the particles and how they move okay first off warning when you use this program it doesn't give you the arrows so you're gonna have to figure out a way to figure out which way the arrow goes on each of these vectors okay with that said here we go first you have to download v field you have to have an app for this one it's not built into the ti-89 calculator i don't think but this is the way I do it. So I'm assuming you have the V field app, flash app from TI Calc or some other source. Or you can just Google it, look it up. V field. Okay. After you enter it, this is assuming you have an emulator like this one. Um, you can just go to the apps button if you have the calculator. But I'm just using the emulator. So I'm entering the word V field it doesn't work if you press apps and you press enter it just says go to ti.com okay but it's in there I uploaded it to the emulator so you have to type it out alpha and then V F wait until lock alpha lock field V field okay turn that off and then open parentheses close parentheses and I push clear because I enter something I wasn't supposed to okay enter it like that okay this starts the V field app okay we want to plot um, the function uh, X I bar plus Y J bar so x y okay for the limits or the the window we'll just put minus 10 to 10 for x axis and y axis curly bracket minus 10 okay and then it has alpha on so we got to take off the alpha okay clear minus 10 comma 10 curly bracket down and then the same for the y-axis curly bracket minus 10 comma 10 curly bracket okay grid 8 zoom square no that's fine enter enter creating window calculating vectors okay and that wait a minute okay so if you looked at my previous video i plotted a a another graph so it's overlaying so this is not it's like you're seeing two graphs now so what i have to do is i have to push clear clear here clear escape uh cancel cancel second quit okay let's go to graph nope let's go to y equals okay this is from another tutorial just click clear okay clear out all your graphs i guess that should have been step one clear out all your graphs okay so now we go back to graph and it's clear so rewind let's just do this again home v field x y and then the limits take turn off your alpha minus 10 comma 10 curly bracket curly brace minus 10 comma 10 brace bracket I think it's called a, I don't know what it's called either brace or bracket I've heard both terms enter enter 
Okay, now we'll see the xi bar plus yj bar vector field. Okay, now you see here what I'm talking about. It gives you the vectors, but it does not give you the arrows. So what you'll have to do is you'll have to plug in uh, the points, right? You can just kind of eyeball the points since this is minus 10, 10, um, graph each tick two four six eight it's around two or three two four six eight yeah so you would you would plug in whatever this number is like like maybe one comma one and then see uh, which direction it's going in just to kind of get a feel of how the vectors are going okay so that's how to plot a vector field that's the best way I know as far as the TI-89 calculator. I think this is a better method than using Mathematica or Maple as far as entering and just seeing what the field looks like. You'll probably have to go into another program to get the actual arrows and things. But this is a quick way. Hope you learned something. OMorganLabs.com.